it's I don't even know what day it is it's my last day in Cardiff I just packed up all my stuff and I'm about to check out of my hostel um, and then leave my bag here because my bus doesn't leave until 7. My goal for today is go to Cardiff Castle and Cardiff Bay because those are like the two big things I haven't hit yet. And I'm feeling a lot better from yesterday. Yesterday I was like in such a rut. I don't even know what was wrong with me but I literally like have been laying here staring at the wall for probably like half an hour, 45 minutes now. I just kind of got over it I guess. That's just kind of what you have to do when you're traveling because... Like, obviously, you spend money to come to these places. You're not just going to sit in your bed and do nothing. So, I um, gave myself a little break, and today I'm ready to get back on the grind. And it's looking a little scary outside. Those clouds are not looking very cute. It's not focusing. The forecast doesn't say rain. I'm questioning that, honestly. So I just went to the Riverside Farmer's Market, which is like just behind me, and it was really... <sighs> I hate vlogging in public. It was really little, but it was really cute, and I got a beef pasty and a piece of shortbread because that's really the meal of champions now, isn't it? I'm actually really upset because this is so good. I'm freaking leaving. <laughs> Why didn't I start eating these earlier in my abroad year? This is my first pasty. I mean, it kind of, oh my god, look at how beautiful this crab looks. Um, it kind of reminds me of chicken pot pie. But like, it's like beef stew inside a, inside a flaky, buttery flaky crust. Wow, this is amazing. I'm gonna eat the whole thing, and I'm probably gonna be hungry for the rest of the day. But I'm going to Cardiff Castle now. vlogging in public i'm sorry maybe i'll get over it someday but <laughs> so i'm at cardiff castle right now and it's so beautiful outside i mean it's a little chilly but the sky is pretty clear and yeah i got a student discount to come in so it was only i think 11:50, and i got to go in this building right beside me and then the building right in front of me and then i could walk around the wall if i wanted to but i really don't feel like it <laughs> and then there was also one of those things i don't know what it's called but it like throws rocks i'll get i'll overlay a clip but i wanted to show you guys where i took my self timer pics i should show you where i took my pictures just in case you're solo and you're looking for a place to take self timer pics too so what i do is on my camera that i'm obviously filming with i have a setting that i can connect it to my phone and then i can take pictures like using my phone as a remote basically and so I don't know if you can tell in all of my self timer pics, but in a lot of them, you can see my phone in my hand, like clicking the button. But what I did was I set it up on this well. This is the thing right here. And I basically got like this view in the picture. I'll overlay the pictures right now, but they came out really good. And the colors right now are just so pretty. Like everything's so green and vibrant. I'm a fan. Now I'm pretty much done here and I'm gonna try to get down to Cardiff Bay. It's about one o'clock now and my hostel will hold my bags till four. It's a beautiful day. It's so, so, so beautiful out. And the sky is blue, the clouds are fluffy, and some children are watching me vlog. I just FaceTimed my grandparents, but it really just gave me a confidence boost to vlog in public, so here I am. Um, Cardiff Bay is really pretty. It's very homey. It reminds me a lot of Portland, Maine, where I'm from, but 
I really like being in the water. It really gives me energy. I'm gonna go get Starbucks now because everything around here is kind of expensive or a restaurant and I'm not down for that. I just want a nice tea. So that's where I'm gonna go. That's it. There are also a lot of dogs here and I love that mall. I'm up on this balcony now and I'm actually stupid. I was just saying that I went to Starbucks because I didn't want to go to a sit down place and I didn't see any coffee places, but there literally is a coffee place right there and it's really cool, but I already have this. So I'm kind of upset about that. Definitely check that coffee place out if you come to Cardiff instead of going to Starbucks because I actually hate going to chains um, when I'm in a new place because why would I go somewhere that I have at home when I'm in a new place, you know what I mean? Now I'm just watching this busker because I don't really have anything else to do over here. I walked around a ton, but this busker's pretty good. His name is John Adams, so shout out John Adams, you're pretty good. But I'm gonna walk back, I think, because it's only 35 minute walk. I don't know what I'm gonna do now, but I'm gonna walk back and get my stuff. It's a beautiful day. Okay, I thought it would be quiet at the park, but apparently there's a cricket game going on like really close to here because I can hear the cheers and the announcements. And there's a, a heavy police presence over here, so not really the, like, the nice uh, relaxing hour in the park I was hoping for, but... Can you hear them cheering? It's England versus Pakistan. No idea what's going on. Anyway, I went to this place called Science Ice Cream, which someone on my Instagram actually recommended. So shout out to her. It was really, really good. I got a lemon curd type situation with some toasted marshmallow and oh my God. Oh, and I got it in a waffle cone. Oh my God, and it was all fresh made in front of me and it was it was so so good and I love supporting independent places like that. Um, I overheard someone that was working. I don't know if it's the owner, if it's just someone that works there, but she was talking to one of the people, other customers that was there, and she was saying that they're an independent place that's been there for five years, and I think that's really awesome. Hi everyone, I'm back in London. I feel like I haven't spoken in five years because I've had zero social interaction except for the lady at the bathrooms at Victoria Coach Station. Anyway, I feel terrible. Um, my bus, the 85, the love of my life, um, isn't coming for another, I think, six minutes. I'm really just not thriving right now. And I wanna be home and in my bed and sleeping. My camera died while I was waiting for my bus and it turned, like, in Cardiff, and it turns out I was waiting at the wrong bus station. I remembered I had an email from National Express saying that I had to go to the temporary bus stop and Long story short, I almost missed my bus, so that's really fun, even though it's an hour and a half early. So that was really, you know, cool, great, fantastic times, and the 85 should be coming any minute, and there are actually quite a few people around right now. And you know how I feel about um, vlogging in public, so see you when I get home. Hi, I'm back in my room. Anyway, that's it. I'm too tired, I can't even speak. Anyways, that's it. Oh my god. Anyways, that is it for today's vlog and that is it for my Cardiff, Wales vlog. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part was um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'm not uploading these too late. I'm really sorry if this is up in like July. Okay, bye, I love you.